Hi, in this video, we will take a look at Amazon Elastic Cash. Firstly, I will explain to you what Amazon Elastic Cash is, why we will want to use it, and also point out some of the drawbacks of using it. Secondly, we will take a look at how to create or launch an Amazon Elastic Cash, and also how to connect to it and run the command. Amazon Elastic Cash is an in-memory database engine. In-memory database is a database management system that stores data entirely in memory. And because the data resides in memory, it is faster to read and to write from the file system. And also the algorithms for in-memory database are much simpler and execute fewer CPU instructions. And of course, data in memory eliminates seek time. Today, RAM is cheap, making in-memory databases affordable. What is Amazon Elastic Cache? Elastic Cache is a web service that makes it easy to deploy, operate, and scale an in-memory cache in the cloud. The service improves the performance of web applications by allowing you to retrieve information from fast managed in-memory caches instead of relying entirely on slower disk-based data. Amazon Elastic Cache support two types of engine. One memcache and the other one is Redis. Both are open source. Redis is a caching system as well as a database and message broker. As always, there are advantages and disadvantages of using the technology. Now let's first take a look at some of the advantages of using Amazon Elastic Cache. If you use Amazon Elastic Cache, the technology automatically detects and, repli and replaces failed nodes. It also can scale up and scale down as your application need grows. And it integrates easily with other Amazon Web Services. You use the same tools and commands for standard, Redis, and Memcache engine. And then also you inherit some of the availability and disaster recovery capabilities of Amazon Web Services. Next, let's take a look at some of the drawbacks. With Amazon Elastic Cache, you can only access your cluster nodes by Amazon EC2 instance. That's a limitation. And then also, there are only two in memory cache engines supported. There are many others out there. There is also data security concerns for putting data in public cloud. Now, this is a case made by Amazon Web Services for Amazon Elastic Cache and why you will want to use it. How do we go about creating an Amazon Elastic Cache cluster? You do this from the Amazon Web Services Management Console. You will click on the Elastic Cache from the Services drop-down menu and then get started now. You will choose an engine and then configure your cluster and click on launch. Now, as mentioned earlier, you can only access your cache nodes from an EC2 instance. And also note that both your EC2 and cache has to be in the same security group. And then you will have to open port 22 for SSH to connect to your EC2 instance and port 6379 to connect to your Elastic Cache cluster. Now, let's go ahead and get started. If you have not, please go ahead and download Potty and PottyGen. You will need PottyGen to create a compatible .ppk file from a .pam or Potty. Instructions to do this is available on the Potigen website. And then we're also going to be using Telnet from our EC2 instance to Telnet into our cache node. Let's get started. The first thing we want to do is sign in to our Amazon Web Services Management Console.
Now, if you don't have an Amazon Web Services account, you can go ahead and create one. Once we sign into the Amazon Web Services console, the first thing we want to do here is go ahead and create a security group for both Amazon EC2 instance and Amazon Elastic Cache to use to connect. Let us do this by clicking on the EC2. And then we go to security group. Now we want to create a new security group. And then we give the security group a name, a description, and most importantly, make sure the security group is with the default VPC. Note that I have set two rules. The first one is I've enabled POP22 for SSH. Go ahead and select SSH. The TCP port, and then the next one is a custom rule to enable port 6379 for our Elastic Cache cluster node. And also note the 0 .0 .0 .0 0.0.0.0.0, which indicates that you can anywhere. Then let's go ahead and click Create. Now that we have our security group, let's go ahead and create our Elastic Cache cluster. From the services menu, we click on Elastic Cache, and this will take us to the Amazon Elastic Cache homepage. From here, we click on Get Started now, and note the two engine, Memcache and Redis, for the purpose of this demo, we will use the Redis database engine. We click on Next. And since this is just for demo purposes, let's go ahead and uncheck Enable Replication. And then we give it a name. Okay, so we named our cluster, Redis Cache Cluster. And here, let's go ahead and select a very small instance, maybe an M1 small. And then we click on Next. And then we select our security group. And note we are in the Default subnet, a VPC subnet, and then we click on next. And then we review the cluster specification, and then we click on launch cache cluster. Now, if we want to see the status and the, of the creation of our cache cluster, we click close. And then you will notice the status is in creating state. It's going to take a while for this to change, for the status to change to available. So let's be patient. After a few minutes, you will realize that your cache cluster is now in available status. So let's go ahead and click on the node. And then, importantly, let's go ahead here and copy the endpoint of this cache cluster. We're going to need this endpoint to connect to our cache cluster from the EC2 instance. And for now, we just put it in a notepad. Now let's go ahead and create our EC2 instance. We go back to the services, drop down menu, EC2 instance. We want to launch an instance. We will choose the free tier Amazon Linux. Select. Notice the free tier eligible. And let's next review. We will keep all the default values for now. Add storage next. Tag the instance. We can give this any name. 
and we will name it my cash instance next configure security group now for the security group let's go ahead and select an existing one and then we will go ahead and select the elastic cash security group that we created and note the port 22 and port 63798 and we click on review and launch and then we launch now let's go ahead and choose a key pair that you will use to connect to this instance and then click on the checkbox i acknowledge and then launch instance now if you want to view the instance being launched i just click view instances and there you go our instance is in pending startup now that our instance is running and has passed all the status checks, let's go ahead and connect to our instance by clicking on the instance and clicking on connect. From here, you will get instructions on how to connect to your EC2 instance. For this demo, I will be using Pony, so I go ahead and grab the IP address for the instance. And then my IP address into Pony. And then for authentication, I click on SSH authorization, and then I select my EC2 key. And then open. Accept the security warning. I log into my instance as EC2 user. I am logged into my instance, the first thing I want to do is install Telnet. You do this by typing sudo yum install Telnet and then click on yes and it will install Telnet. So after I install Telnet, I want to turn it into my EC2 instance. So I type Telnet and then I grab the endpoint for my Elastic Cache cluster. I paste it. And then I also add the port number C B79. And then I click enter. Now I am connected to my cache cluster and I can go ahead and enter some Redis commands. Now the first command I will enter is let's set a string one to L world and then we click on enter. And then we get an OK, which means string one has been associated or has the value hello world. Now we can do another one set string two. Okay. Okay. And enter. Now we can string one. It will return hello world, get into, and that will return our elastic cash. Now let's try something interesting. Between. So we get the cash miss because string not available. So we can exit out of this by just typing quit. Now, I have just showed you how to create a cache cluster, create an EC2 instance, and use that EC2 instance to connect to the cache node. And then, once you are inside the cache node, you can enter simple Redis commands. So, that concludes this video. This, in conclusion, these are some of the benefit you get from Amazon Elastic Cache Cluster. It is very easy to deploy and operate as you've seen, and it improves the performance of web application. You can scale up and down and in-memory cache in the cloud as needed. Thank you. Please make sure to log out of your Linux instance, delete, or terminate the instance and then also delete the cache cluster since this is only for demo purposes. Thank you.